Hello and welcome to a short but sweet episode of Loxon Explained, the video format for all tech enthusiasts, Loxon partners, and those looking to become automation installers. The sun is out, temperatures are going up, and all home and garden owners are drawn out into their little green paradise. If you add Loxon into the mix, there's two questions that we get asked most. First, do I need a door and window contact? And second, how do I prevent the shading from closing automatically when I enter the garden, the terrace, or the balcony? And that's the important and smart feature that we're looking at today. Now, it may sound trivial, but simple door and window contacts significantly expand the functionality of a building automated with Loxone. On one hand, it can be used to implement a comprehensive alarm system. But today, I want to focus completely on the topic of shading and exit doors. And in those places, a door contact is indispensable. Because only with a door contact, the mini server knows that the door is open and can then stop the automatic shading. Without a door contact, the barbecuing experience of the terrace can quickly become unpleasant if the building suddenly denies access. But we would not be Loxone if we hadn't thought of a solution. With Loxone, even the shading is opened as soon as the door is opened. And now, let's jump into Loxone Config and take a look at how you can implement this. First of all, we need the information whether the exit is open or closed. And there's a whole range of possibilities for this. No matter if we're talking about an integrated door and window contact that is connected via digital input, a door and window handle air, or a door and window contact air. To illustrate, I'll simply use a door and window contact air. I just connect the two contacts to input DWC of the automatic blinds function block. What's very important now is that the input, meaning the sign, is reversed. Because if a window is closed, the contact delivers a one. And if the window is opened, it delivers a zero. The input DWC, however, needs the exact opposite behavior. But that's not a problem. Just hover over the input with your mouse, and as soon as the small black dot appears next to the cursor, a single click with the left mouse button will do the trick. A small dot will appear at the input DWC, which means it's reversed, and we are ready to go. And already, the shading can no longer descend automatically or via button when the door is open. But operation via the Loxone app is still possible. And there's one more thing we haven't talked about yet. The input DWC offers another feature. If the shading is closed and you open the door, the shading automatically moves up. So, as you can see, door and window contacts are an absolute must. I wouldn't want to miss out on the great features and functions they provide. Sometimes it's the small things that make a building legitimately intelligent. Now you tell us, which features do you and your customers appreciate most? Or which features would you like to see more of in the Luxon Explained video? Just let us know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video, we appreciate a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss a Loxone video in the future. See you next time.